Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. Oh, feels good to be back in the bed. Today, I am watching Blast from the Past. After Carly and I watched The Mummy uh, in October, we got a lot of requests for this one and I obviously have never seen it, but people gave me a brief description and it sounds like something I would like and something so fun. Basically, Brendan Fraser makes a time capsule or something and Alicia Silverstone from Clueless, which I love that movie, is in it somehow and it's kind of like a rom-com? I don't know, but either way, that sounds good to me. I don't know how correct I am. I kind of didn't know how charming and cute Brendan Fraser was before watching The Mummy and then I really loved his character in that. I knew him from George of the Jungle that I watched as a child. <laughs> so. I liked, I liked the character in The Mummy. Oh my gosh, what was his name? Wyatt? That doesn't seem right. What was his name? Ugh. I wanna say it starts with a D, but Dale sounds wrong. Rick, of course, Rick O'Connell. That is so much better than Dale. Sorry to the Dales, I love Dales. I just, he is Rick. I love a good 90s rom-com, so I'm hoping this does not disappoint. I'm really excited. Okay, right now on Patreon, we have a Thanksgiving movie poll, soon a martial arts poll this week. On YouTube, if you're a member, we have a heist series of polls going on right now. So if you wanna vote in the polls, it's fun. I love voting in things, except real things. Just kidding, go vote. <laughs> um, go to Patreon and it's so fun over there. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you like this type of content, or if you don't, press that like button. Oh, finger guns, I am off my game. Okay, let's watch a movie. Explode H bomb. Negative. We're starting with an H bomb? Be space, have your own family shelter, plan shelter value proven in Nevada. Three decades of food? Americans take precautions, fallout shelters of all. Oh, oh, like bomb shelters were Los Angeles 1962. <laughs> Hey, tell me if you heard this one. A duck walks into a drugstore. I'd like some lip gloss. The clerk says, certainly, sir. The duck says, put it on my bill. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. It's, um, he's the dad in Hairspray. What does Calvin think about this trouble down in Cuba? Oh, for heaven's sakes, please don't bring that up. Kennedy is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Khrushchev on television right now. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> that a series of offensive <laughs> missile sites is now in preparation. Oh, this is like the Cuban Missile Crisis? And thus capable of striking most of the major cities in the Western Hemisphere. I think it's prudent we cut this evening short. I suggest we take a, a prayerful watch and wait stance. Well, I'm certainly not gonna let this pot roast go to ice. Oh, Calvin, shouldn't we at least turn off the phone An emergency has oh. been declared. You hear that? Oh, Calvin, I wish you would have at least let me do the dishes. I just hope those plates are not radioactive by tomorrow. Cheese is particularly troublesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. How long will we have to stay down here? It could take days. Days? Honey, what if I go into labor? That could happen any time now. Oh my gosh. Oh. You are right. Oh, Lord! This happened! Oh, no, he thinks that was the missile. He thinks that was the Cuban missile. Locks to keep us. Try and leave. There's a radiation half life. Last 35 years. <gasps> After that, it's safe. Well, he and Mrs. Nutcase must have been out here when the plane hit. Neighbors over there said the guy spent day and night out here to bring him sandwiches and hot Dr. Pepper. Hot Dr. Pepper? Good God. 
<laughs> we have to be strong for the child. All our friends. Burnt to a crisp. Oh, maybe I've just got the creeps. How could you? This is just like home. No. No, Calvin. This is different. What? Oh. Oh, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, right. Look at this stuff. Not in a lawn chair. This yes, baby a is going to be here for 35 good day for years. Is there a problem? No, Calvin, babies cry. We should call him Adam. That's not sacrilegious, is it? No. And I was wondering if... What do you want, Helen? I want a bedroom ceiling. I got it. See, I flick this switch. And he is a genius. He's projected onto a mirror. I love how she, like, is dressed all fancy and... You make us ever mindful of the needs of others. Amen. Once again, it's been a long... How big is this place under there? Watch this. He could stand up all by himself. Oh. All by himself. You think like they're the only living people in the United States? What do you make of this? That it's some kind of septic tank. We'll just lay the foundation over it. In one. I'd like to see the public school system match that. Will I ever get to go up on top? You certainly will. You'll find a nice girl. Rebuild America just the way it used to be. <laughs> Two girls for every this is stressing me out. Your husband is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are they watching? There's been complaints about me on the bus. Oh no. Sending me to the Oh, don't be silly, Ralph. Excuse me, boys, but I believe it's my turn now. See the pyramids along. <gasps> oh, he says no social life except his parents. But look at the skills they're teaching him. Well, this is actually very sweet. Send me photographs, you I miss those nice flower power kids. How about you? These are stock certificates. Your mom and I bought them for you. Of course, they're worthless now, but... They're pretty. Could I have them? <laughs> sure. Our French exam. Latin exam, Dad. It's Tuesday. Tempest Fugit. Et le bon temps roulé. Glad the house don't mix. He's going to be a genius <laughs> and rich. Jeez. No. Hi, huh? Hi. Oh, she's losing it a bit. As one would. My baseball card collection. It's yours now. What's baseball? It's a game, son. I explain it pretty easily. See, there's a there's a pitcher. Oh, like a painting. No, a, a pitcher. Like one of mom's. <laughs> who has a bat? Oh, the nocturnal flying mammal. <laughs> Purgatory. Oh my gosh. explain this one more time. The runner on second goes to third. He's still trying to explain baseball. And many more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's Brendan Fraser and he's very young. And they're getting old. Your mom made that all by herself. No kidding. Holy cow. It's your roller skates. I redesigned them. These are really swell. Well, what did you wish for, son? I wish that I could meet a girl. Oh, wow. Nice one. Yes, ma'am. Doesn't glow in the dark, I hope. Calvin Weber, what are you? We'll be going up in two years. We'll know then. Elbow, son. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. What the heck am I thinking? What the heck am I? <laughs> you know, when we do go up, I'm going to miss this place. Would you please excuse me? Present day. Oh my gosh. Are they going up? It's coronation day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we wait for night. 
partner French, son. Shit is French? Well, it's archaic French. It's <laughs> meaning roughly good. <laughs> Your father's right. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, just go up. Oh my gosh. And I certainly have not seen anything coming from up there except the goddamn airplane, which I can't afford to get on. Uh, earthquake. Another earthquake. Oh my gosh. I thought, I'm very happy his parents did not die. I thought his parents might die down there and he was gonna be all by himself. I come in peace. What is he gonna think? What is he gonna think when he finds out it didn't happen? <laughs> my backyard. Oh my gosh, no. You got a light, honey? I do. I got a light. Good, thank you. Survive the blast. Honey, I've survived a host of things. Song says a country boy can't survive. Hey, you're a country boy? If you want a boy, I can be a boy. Hell, I can be whatever you want me to be. Really? I have to go. Down. Get out of here, you old drunk. He's gonna make the wrong conclusions, I think. No! There were survivors. The fallout has created a subspecies. Mutants. Oh my gosh. Cover your ears, son, and home. Others are multisexual, masculine, feminine, simultaneously. He tried to sell me his body, Helen. <gasps> People throw up in the streets. There's something terribly wrong with the automobiles. And... <laughs> so what do we do now? We stay down here. No. Walk no, Calvin, we're going up. We will. A mountain. Do as I say. No. <laughs> He seems to be doing all right now. We need supplies, and I've got to stay with him. I'll go up. Yes, you will. My brave boy. Oh, if anyone asks, simply say, I'm from out of town. I'm here on business. Write that down. I'm going to give you a shopping list and some money. A grocery store or a hardware store. Write that down. Oh, my gosh. I was wondering if maybe I could uh, meet a girl. It would be wonderful if you could meet a girl, one who's not a mutant. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Stay out of the adult bookstore. Poison gas. I promise. Is that all? One more thing. If you find a healthy young woman, bring her on down. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's gonna be so weird. <laughs> Are you the one who came last night? That was my father. <gasps> the father? Forgive me. Can you forgive me for my wasted life? It has been terrible, but it's not your fault. And now that all the decay is over with, things are going to get better. <gasps> he thinks he's a god of some kind. <laughs> Will you be back? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna stress me out. The sky? Where? Up there. <gasps> Never in my life seen anything like it before. Or like you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my lucky stars. The Negro. Oh, boy. How do you do, ma'am? I do all right. Good. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Poisonous gas. Run, 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 for your life. You know. <gasps> I think he's going to be fine. He's smart. Yes, dear, I know. But he's still such a baby. He's a man. He's a baby man. <laughs> I tried to give the driver this. He seems kind of angry. A lot of people do. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Hold on. What? Do you have a gun, by the way? Well, thank you for not waving it around and for not vomiting, for that matter. Driver, please stop the bus immediately. I wish to get off. Stop the bus! <laughs> oh. I'd like to get some all beef patties. Fresh frozen. <laughs> Come on. Frozen. Frozen, there's six thirty a dozen in the three pound box. That's almost five hundred dollars just for the hamburger. My mother only gave me three thousand dollars for everything. You could get a meat order that big delivered to your home. Except it just occurred to me that I don't know where home is. I'm lost. Do you know where I live? No. <laughs> oh no, he's lost.
Oh my gosh. Please stop the bus. Why? The name's Adam Weber, and I see that you buy baseball cards. I was hoping that you still might be interested. How much you want for this Mickey Mantle rookie season? All I have are $100 bills, and I need something smaller, you know. $500 in small bills for the whole box. That would be wonderful. Ah, shit. Where can he, Evie Poo? She's beautiful. Well, smart mademoiselle. Oh, you're French? No, I'm here on business. Well, your business must not be sports memorabilia, because this one man took $1,000 all by its itty bitty self. Get out of here. No, you get out of here. I quit. I'll walk you out. Oh my gosh, she's going to teach him. Adam and Eve, the perfect match. <gasps> Say, did you just lose your job back there because of me? Get about it. I'm sick of working for that kid. Kid? It's a walking penis capable of intelligent speech. I just had this mental picture. Here, help me pick these up. <laughs> he takes everything so literally. Oh, I'm so nervous for him. I guess because I'm a little psychic. Let me guess something. This is your first visit to La La Land. So anyhow, you get on a bus, and before you know it, you're stuck in the San Fernando Valley without a clue. The Holiday Inn. Oh, yes, the Holiday Inn. That's exactly right. Pretty good. <laughs> He's so no. good at this. He's so good at this. I don't have a gun. Well, that changes everything. Get away from me. Please forgive me. Get away from me. For me. Tell her. I will give you a Rogers Hornsby if you take me to the hotel. Rogers Hornsby's worth like four thousand dollars. I got two of them, and this many Larry Yogi Berras, and and four thousand dollars. All I have to do is drive you to your hotel. Yes. And I don't have to take a physical in your spaceship. What? Oh my gosh! Help him! Please help him! Along the ground, Listen to this part. This is where it really takes off. Love, Wait for it. Your love, your love. You are one scary son of a gun. Wonderful. Thanks. You know, TV's there, remote is on top, room service menu on the table. Oh, you uh, dial nine to get out. Of what? The hotel. Well, thank you. You've been very, very helpful. And my father taught me that in situations such as this, it's customary to give a tip. Oh, well, your father's a smart guy. My father's a genius. All right, well, uh, here's your key, and uh, good night. It's my first night away from home. How old are you? 35. You don't look 35. How old do I look? 25, around there. I guess living up here makes people look older. Okay, we need to do research. We need to figure out that the bomb never hit. <laughs> hi, this is the woman from the baseball card store, remember me? Oh, yes, uh, hi. <laughs> She came back. I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, okay, okay, down boy. I can't take this for driving you home. Here, take it back. I can't take that, it's yours. Take it, damn it. Why are you doing that? Because I haven't brushed yet. Help him. Eat. Can't you just talk to me for one second? I should have taken the money and run. That's what Troy told me to do. Who's Troy? Your husband? No. Thank you! Good, stop that. I know you like me, but you know what a lot of guys like? Not me exactly. It's more like my legs or my butt or my hair or some combination. I think it's the eyes. The eyes. An eye man. Anyhow, it never works out. Why doesn't it never work out? It never works out because I am into legs and hair and butts myself. Why not go to work for me? Helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks. Who for? Like starving people? Oh, well, they're not starving yet. Two weeks. What's the pay? What's fair? I gotta make at least a thousand dollars a week. <laughs> what does he do here? Why would someone need 26 yacht bags? Pipe tobacco! <laughs> Doesn't she want to know? Why did she ask him questions? I would just be lost without you. Thanks. I think that you and I... Adam, don't even think about it, okay? Believe me, it'd be a lot meaner if I didn't say it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Let's take this truck back and I'm hungry. There's something else I'd like you to help me with. I'm afraid this is going to sound a little bit crazy. Eve, I want you to help me find a wife. Wife? What for? Because I want to get married. Marriage bites. Bites what? The big one. Ask my divorced brothers or my divorced mom and dad. Everybody knows that. Everybody's divorced. Wow. He's so pure. I know wife you're looking for. I'm not a mutant. No dogs, huh? Okay. When do you need her by? Two weeks. Locate a non-mutant wife from Pasadena. It takes some time. So she's not, he's not supposed to tell. What do you mean you can get me laid? Uh, can we talk about that a little later? Of course. Lord, bless this food we are about to receive. <laughs> and bless my mom. And bless my dad. <laughs> get 
out. Yes, ma'am. Stop with the ma'am crap. You almost got us killed. I told you I've never driven before. Say, is this your house? Yes. What are you bitching about now? <gasps> I forgot some of my stuff. He's here. They're Excuse together. You came back for your underwear. Excuse me, these are Ralph Lorenz. And who's this interesting looking fellow? Adam, this is Cliff. How do you do? Yes. I do fine, Adam. Go home, Cliff, wherever that might be. Shana Gilroy's apartment. May I ask you a question? He's a former boyfriend. We lived together for about six months, and yeah, I still have a sort of a thing for him. That's, that's what you wanted to know, isn't it? No, I was going to ask you why Cliff likes to wear another man's underpants. He's a Ralph Lorenz. <laughs> I knew you'd like him. I know, it's like he's from X-Files or something. Or maybe he's the leader of some cult that's into practices involving poultry and pipe tobacco. You have very nice ceilings. Well, I hope you like this. It's fresh sea urchin wrapped in seaweed or nori. I love sushi. I love Lucy. Adam, where on earth are you from? Out of town, that's all he'll say. It's a very small place. Maybe Eve can guess. She's psychic. Well then, Miss Dion Warwick, why don't you tell us what town he's from. Oh, Lord. She's, she's so shared. Anything. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I see snow. Lots of snow. Way up north. You live in Alaska, and the only way in and out of your place is by plane. You definitely came here for food and supplies and to find a wife. Wow. <laughs> that was right. Got goosebumps all over me. Can I ask you some questions? When did Alaska become a state? 1959. Okay, and uh, who owned it before we did? Russia. And when did we get it from them? 1867. All right, what's the state capital? Juneau. It's Anchorage, gotcha. Mm-mm, sorry, that's the largest city. Why won't he tell? His parents told him not to tell, right? He's going to check your answers on his computer. He has a computer? Sure. She's doing it. This guy, this guy. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the mother. It's the mother! The mother! Oh no, oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. What do you think? It works. Let's show her these. Eve, can I skate around your block? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just a few laps. It won't take long. No. I need him to go back before his dad dies. He's... The ocean. <laughs> this is like me the first time I saw a palm tree in Las Vegas. <laughs> Okay, why is this so, so, so tender? <laughs> I have all my goosebumps! <laughs> He's gonna learn about baseball! You have to see it to understand it! <laughs> You still want to go girl hunting tonight? Oh yes, I certainly do. I certainly do. This whole business of finding your wife, it's pretty ridiculous. No, it isn't. Well, yes, it is. I'll tell you what, I'll give you every single card I've got. You think I'm just somebody you can buy off? Oh, no, Eve, I didn't mean that at all. Would you do it because you're my very best friend? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Ladies first, Troy. That was close. That was close. <laughs> All the clubs, you know, all the towns, and all the world, you walk in a mine. <gasps> Casablanca. Hi there, Eve. Who's the hum? Get lost. Hi, right, how do you do? I'm Adam Weber. Adam lives in Alaska. No sh. You parlez français? Oui. Parce que je n'ai pas eu la chance à pratiquer le français pour. Si Adam. Si tu Adam. Oh, I thought we were here to meet women. Not that. I love that Troy loves him. I think for you, we should aim for sweet. I like that. And wholesome. Yeah, go on, Romeo. Say hello. Say something surprising. Something funny. Lie, if need be. Lie. Oh, yeah. This would be a very effective dating tool. <laughs> Eve, I think, is a little bit jealous. Hi. She's cute. I was wondering if you could help me. Maybe I've lost my Congressional Medal of Honor around here. <laughs> 
Adam Weber. Hi, I'm Heather. I don't believe I've ever heard that name before. <laughs> Do you dance? I took a dance lesson every day of my life up until a couple of days ago. You're kidding. No, no, I didn't. Wait for me. Oh, no. Oh, but it's, they're at a 40s club, so this is good. <laughs> I took a dancing lesson every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is so flippin' sweet, and I need to know how this ends. I really need to know how this ends. Did he do that with his mom? Where the hell did you learn to dance like that? I want you to stop lying to me. All right. You everything. Don't we clean up nice? Oh, he's a jerk in this, but I love him so much. I had a drink up at the ball. Sure. He was gonna tell her everything. Isn't Cliff just a butt with hair? What? And shallow as well? Shallow? Go back to the hotel. Yeah, before I kick your ass. I, I must warn you, Cliff, I do know how to defend myself. Stop ah. it, you two! He keeps trying to sucker shot him. I quit. This is ridiculous. He go back to the hotel? He might have. What does that mean? That we did not leave together. Well, who did he leave with? He left those dancers, didn't he? <sighs> You're the psychic. Eve, the psychic pimp. She likes him. Where are you going? To bed. I'm not the one that's in love with the guy. What? Mm -hmm. In the first place, I do not fall in love with weirdos. Yes, you do. Or pee in their pants when they see the ocean. Yes, you do. <laughs> He said good manners are just a way of showing other people that we have respect for them. He thinks I'm a gentleman and you're a lady. I don't even know what a lady is. And I thought a gentleman was somebody that owned horses. <laughs> <laughs> Short and simple definition of a lady or a gentleman. Someone who always tries to make sure that the people around him or her are as comfortable as possible. Where do you think he got all that information? His parents. I well, know, I suppose he's trying to make those dancers comfortable as possible. He didn't go home with them. He went home with Sophie. <laughs> So what you gonna do? Go down to her place and kick the door in? You're goddamn right I am. Troy, Troy, Troy. <sighs> Gee, he was gonna tell her everything. I just want him to tell her everything. And I need him to get back and I want his mom to be okay. Beach. I'm really sorry. I, I, I was just gonna say... I know. And then, then she went, I know, I know. <laughs> You're a nice boy. But what Eve needs is a nice man. You still here? Well, let me help you. No, oh, Eve. I can do it myself. <laughs> Pants are ruined, right? I'd say so. There. This makes me want to watch Clueless again. Did you go to Sophie's? Of course. And then? And? She was hospitable. <sighs> Just wasn't where I wanted to be. I left as politely as I could, and I found a taxi, and I told the driver to bring me here. There is a song that Mr. Como sings called On the Street Where You Live. Do you know it? Sing it to me. I have often walked down this street before but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before all at once am i several stories high knowing i'm on the street where you live it's a song about a young man who's overjoyed just to be standing in front of the house of the person that he loves <gasps> adam you know <clears throat> it's his first kiss you Is that possible? You better sit back down. He's gonna tell her everything. This is what I dreamed of. I in love the ending of the miscommunication. Los Angeles, my parents were in our fallout shelter. That's where I was born. We only survived because it's a huge shelter. Now, my dad's not a liar, but in this case, he felt he had no choice. Of course, it had to be kept a secret. We only had enough supplies to last three people for 35 years. Eve, what I would like to do is to take you with me down into the fallout shelter. We could live there with my mom and dad. My dad said that if I found a healthy young girl, that I should bring her on down. You look plenty healthy to me. What's her reaction going to be? Adam, I think it's time to call a cab. You're, you're absolutely right. I, I really shouldn't be over here at this late hour. <laughs> she gonna tell him there was no bomb? Hey, my friend. There's a lawyer! He's got his feather duster. She 
knows he's telling the truth, right? Because of the yacht batteries and, and how he is. I'm with the County Family Services Department. Eve tells me you've been living in a bomb shelter most of your life. Fallout shelter. There is a difference. Adam, I'd like to introduce you to my associate, Mr. Brown. Hello? Oh my gosh, they're gonna take him to a psych ward? Adam, I think you should go with Dr. Aaron. I think it's the best thing. No! Could I please just go home? I was lost, but I found home this morning. If I can just go home, I promise I'll never bother any of you ever again. Let's go talk first. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Adam. Goodbye, Troy. No! No, 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 no! She didn't believe him! How could you not believe him? Hey, hey! Oh, no. Hey. I've got to run away and I'm going to need police assistance. No! Now that young man needs help no. and you need protection. I, I believe him. Everybody has to calm down. You calm down, Nina. You can have all my baseball cards and don't forget to pay my bill. Don't get in your car! That's my car, you son of a... He still doesn't know ah. there's no bomb. I've got almost everything we need. This nice man, Archbishop Melker, and his church group have volunteered to help bring it down. I think I'm being chased by a psychiatrist. <gasps> How bad is it up there? Horrible. No. Is this it? What are you gonna do with him? Get back to him. We'll find him. Find him. We'll find him. It's stock certificates. It's got like IBM and AT&T and Polaroid. I can I didn't know they still made this. He was telling the truth. It says trademark 1961. He was telling the truth. Purchased in 1958 and 59. 10,000 shares of each. They'd be worth millions. Upon millions. Upon millions. Eve, a man walks into your life who is the kindest, most polite, most incredibly rich guy you've ever met. And I have him committed. Go find him. He said today he knew where home was. Mm -hmm. Where'd you guys go this morning? We stopped at a porn shop. Adam was very excited to see it. Do you think maybe his home is underneath a dirty bookstore in the valley? Yes! Run! You're three doors down, Eve. Do you have a basement? We're so close! I need this! Eve? This is Adam. Look, I just wanted to thank you for everything you did for me. I wish so many good things for you. I wish so hard that all of your dreams come true. Let's go! Let's go! See it? See it? See it? Stop! Yes! Adam? <gasps> <laughs> there, his parents are gonna come up. We're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna work out! And they're gonna get married. How long are you gonna sit for this time? Ten years. But Adam... Considerably shorter than before, but... Wait, Adam will tell them. Mom, Dad. Ooh. I would like for you to meet Miss Eve Rustikoff. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Weber. Oh. Maybe tell them about the bomb. Oh, we have an air today. Yes. Quite some time, uh. Mom. Even I have to go, but I want you to set the locks for two months, and then we'll be right back to get you. And Why did you take them now? Trust me. Oh, of course, son. I don't mean to be nosy, but are you and Adam dating? Yeah, we are. Oh. And I'm from Pasadena. You guys, this is killing me. It's truly amazing what you can get done when you have unlimited funds. All you have to say is this, I don't care what it costs. Our idea was to bring Adam's parents up to the surface very slowly, make them very comfortable, and then break the bad news to them that there was no nuclear holocaust. <gasps> you go, oh, careful. Have you ever in your life seen a son who did more for his parents? It's not much different from a fallout shelter. This is different. The last name, Rostikov. That's not Russian, is it? Yeah, it's Ukrainian. Huh. Our grandparents immigrated. Dad, there was no bomb. A plane crashed in our backyard. I looked it up in old newspapers. You sure? Positive. Cold War's over. That's when everyone believes. Oh, yes, sir. Dinner time. Bye, Rose. <laughs> He doesn't believe it. Funny guy. First the parents take care of the children, and then the children take care of the parents. He says historically that's how it works. Oh. Whenever Adam gives me such obviously incorrect information, I slap him on the knee and look out the window. Why spoil his dreams? They're such wonderful dreams. He's gonna make a new bomb shelter. But all around, even our old friends see what happened. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> I feel like I need to watch that movie again to appreciate it because I was so stressed about it, everything working out that I couldn't focus on the, the it, it was so clever and so sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why was that such a good movie? <laughs> it had no business being that good to me. And Brendan Fraser, he played it so convincingly and so brilliantly. Like, it was so funny and good and sweet and it all worked out. Oh my gosh, I was so stressed that was not gonna work out. They were gonna die in there and his mom was not gonna be able to see this guy. His father still doesn't believe him, but I think that'll give him something to do and Alicia Silverstone, oh, why wasn't she in more? I'm gonna go watch Clueless, I'm gonna go watch The Mummy, I'm gonna go watch Firefly again, because Nathan Fillion. Ugh, oh, the cleverness of the little things they thought about, you know, was perfect. And the like awestruck and wonder of the little things was so pure. And I know this is like a silly 90s rom-com, but doesn't it make you like for a second just appreciate the little things. Oh my gosh, that's so corny, but I know. The ocean. Guys, I just went in the ocean for the very first time past my knees. I'd only been to California oceans before. And recently, last week, I went to Mexico and I went in and I was like, this is why people love the ocean. It was warm and clear and I went under and I just played in it for like an hour and it was kind of like that. <laughs> I was like, I get it. It was a little thing and I'll never forget it. My first time in the ocean, my first real time in the ocean. Okay, it was perfect for tender November. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you again soon.